So in this video, we're going to be dealing with x to the power of x to the power of x equals one half to the power of the square root of two. Now, obviously we wanna solve for x, and it's actually something quite simple to do, but at the same time, it's really interesting. And you will see why it is so interesting, but before we go on, consider subscribing, ring the bell to not miss my latest videos, and hit the like button if you enjoy watching this. So the interesting thing about this equation is that we need to ignore the left-hand side and just stick to the right-hand side. So we need to focus on the right-hand side to solve this equation. So the right-hand side is one half to the power of square root of two, and we need to manipulate this right-hand side in order to solve our equation. So first of all, let's go ahead and replace square root of two with two over square root of two because it's quite obvious that uh, two over square root of two is equal to square root of two all squared over square root of two, which gives us a square root of two. So it's quite obvious, but I just uh, wrote this to clarify. Next, let's go in and do something really interesting. So first, let's raise this to the power of two and then raise the result to the power of one over square root of two. So we should get one fourth to the power of one over square root of two. Next, let's go ahead and focus on this, one over square root of two. So one over square root of two can be written as one over two to the power of one half, thanks to the power of exponents, we can do that. And then we can replace one half with two fourth, right? And then we can do what we did before. So we need to square this and then raise the result to the power of one fourth to get one over four to the power of one fourth. Now notice that one to any power is equal to one. So we can say that this equals one fourth to the power of one fourth. So that means that this should equal one fourth to the power of one fourth to the power of one fourth. So this is the right hand side of our equation. And if we compare this to the left hand side, we can easily say that X should be one fourth. Therefore, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and goodbye for now.